Brad Parrott came by my office one day uh, to do a story on the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and that's how I met him. Well, that just led to an ongoing relationship that has lasted all these years, and uh, my wife Betty and I more or less uh, have taken the Parrott family as our own family. Well, we first met in 1973, and he was uh, writing sports for the Edmund Sun. And it didn't take long for the uh, Oklahoman to find out that uh, this young man had a special talent and he was hired to write sports with, uh, with that newspaper. He earned his uh, journalism degree from the University of Central Oklahoma. I really believe that the UCO uh, prepared him well. The thing that I recognize in Brad uh, most of all was his sincere devotion to do well. Uh, when he was writing, he wanted it to be accurate. And that's what his goal was, to be a very good writer and to be a, a very a respected writer. And then we watched Brad and Brenda uh, and their family grow, and uh, we kind of stayed very close to them. And we have just loved them and cared for them and wanted them to have everything that life had to offer that they deserved. And, uh, and he has proven to be worthy of all that. Uh, not too long ago, he was acknowledged in the uh, city of San Antonio as the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Man of the Year. I'm very proud that Brad has chosen to continue his servanthood work at uh, the University of Texas in San Antonio. He is Associate Athletic Director there and in charge of very, very important things. And uh, I'm just thankful that uh, he's there because he's helping young people and uh, in, a, in a very special way. I'm very pleased that Brad is receiving this honor as a distinguished alumni from UCO because he is definitely a distinguished alumni. And he is not only, it is not only an honor to him, but it's an honor to his family, and it is an honor to UCO.